Okay, hello and welcome. This is Fortune Television. Uh, we are here at the Ravos International Airport for this brief coverage where President Dr. George we are in his interact will shortly be departing Liberia for the United States of America where he will be joining the rest of his colleagues to attend the 77th edition of the United Nations General Assembly. Officially, he has started uh, on the 13th of September and uh, it will run up until the December uh, holding everything constant after the finalization of all of the issues from the General Assembly. Uh, so from the 20th uh, to the 24th, our heads of states will be making the case. It's called the debate. So they will be debating, putting forth uh, their respective countries' issues to the United Nations. As you may be aware, Liberia is a signatory to the United Nations. And that's the General Assembly. Uh, this is the first time it is taking place in person following the COVID-19. Again, this is the first time in person uh, the UNGA is taking place in person, meaning uh, all of uh, the presidents are meeting, heads of states are meeting in person, unlike uh, before due to the COVID-19. So as always, government officials, senior government officials are here to uh, I say farewell to the president as he will be representing the country. We can go on the other side so you can see their faces. But from the back, uh, I see Moses Wakoli is here uh, from the airport authority. The aviation authority, I beg your pardon. And I see Jefferson Kamu, the advisor to the president on uh, national security. And I also see the advisor on legal affairs, Archibald Bernard. In the white, as you're watching from this end, I also see uh, the uh, religious advisor on Christian affairs, Reverend Emmanuel Nimne, in the brown and brown. I see the Minister of uh, uh, V, Minister of uh, Mass and Energy, Jesslo Moret, is also there, flanked by the Minister of uh, uh, Public Works, uh, in person of uh, Ruth Coca Collins, she's flanked by the Minister of Labor, Councillor Charles Gibson, who just recently dedicated uh, a very new modern digital uh, working permit, uh, which will be used in the country. Liberia used to be one of the countries who were behind in terms of this, but owing to the fact that uh, uh, the commissioning ceremony was done by President Weir, uh, Liberia has transitioned from that end. So flanked by the Minister of Labor is the uh, Deputy Minister at the Ministry of States, uh, Wissab Blamud, and finally the Minister of Justice uh, in person of Frank Musadini. So the President is now making his way, uh, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Liberia. Uh, so as tradition to this, he will be here spirit as always. That's it. We just saw the president uh, on board uh, the flight. Uh, and again, if you just join us, uh, we'd like to have you informed that the president, Dr. George Mann, and we are president of the republic, uh, is making his way along with his dedication to the 77 United Nations General Assembly. 
uh, in New York, the United States of America, that particular uh, section, uh, especially from the end of the president's debates, will begin from the 20th of this month and ends on the 24th. There you see the young forces of Liberia. This is a tradition they all year uh, to welcome and to say farewell as well to the president. So there you see them. And this is the 77th edition. As a matter of fact, it's the impressive first of its kind following the heated COVID. It's the first impression. So many issues will be discussed. And we appreciate all of you for following this coverage. And that's what I would like to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, on this brief coverage. Uh, we will be back here again upon this return along with his dedication to Liberia. Until that time, we say thanks for watching. We await the official picking up of the aircraft. Bye bye for now, Julius Cantor.